Hi there! Just another podcast live and direct from hell freezing over in the apartment complex of horrors, this diorama of the undead that I reside in. But dupe, why would we listen to your musings? You're not even successful, I hear you say. Well, listen up, Buster. There will be no cess sucking over here. You want to see success on steroids? Go watch Mr. Beast or some bearded dude push a gluttonous amount of food into his face because Willy Wonka Tube loves to promote that kind of stuff. But speaking of breaking down words, I thought I would discuss the multidimensionality of them and patchwork together some other concepts too. We obviously think in images, symbols and whatever language we're born into. You'd hope there was a consensus on word meanings, since we are kind of word control beings societally, in that things have to be written down as an anchor point of understanding, but there are many dictionaries out there and the law dictionaries are something else, but they're empty without that intent behind them, that's why getting angry at a word is so dumb at face value. By saying that words are multidimensional, I mean that they can be spelled in a certain way and phonetically when expressed can sound like another word entirely unless used in the right context. Like the word by for instance. Also they can have multiple different meanings like for example light and dark. A very popular dichotomy people like to be absolutist with. Some folk tend to be very one dimensional and polarised when trying to explain the spiritual warfare at play in these terms. Like light equals good and dark equals evil. Light also has many different meanings to it. It can mean creating visibility or it can mean a very intelligent intellect, a bright creative mind say, the word brilliance springs to mind. Dark can just be the absence of light in a law of physics kind of way, or it could mean the void of creation itself, the womb of pure potentiality that life itself springs forth from. I think the terms light and dark have been twisted somewhat, as you can't have one without the contrast of the other. They both define each other in this realm of duality at least. I think it's when dark and light get twisted, They can be both used as a means for evil, or the opposite for that matter. Can someone not blind you with light and have you thinking they know it all in order to then go on to manipulate you? Dark can be made into a fear of the unknown and utilised by malevolent spirits hiding in the shadows doing their behind the scenes bidding to control others. What we really need to come from is a place of balance. The word government seems to be traced back etymologically to mind control, so they've created a matrix of bureaucratic language deception to extort our true currency as much as possible. But then there's that ancient term abracadabra, which I think means bringing what you say into being via the ether I suspect. As we all know all of man's creation started off as an idea, or a vision maybe, from tapping into the greater cosmic mind or the Akashic records of the human collective. The word love can be interpreted in many different ways and is quite the overused word that gets put on the concept pedestal a lot, doesn't it? Especially in the new age arena of content creators. I mean, if the word love is so great, then why do you have to put the words unconditional or infinite in front of it in order for it to make sense in that all-encompassing universal spiritual way. And also what word do you think is used to manipulate and deceive people the most? I don't know the stats but I'm pretty sure that the word would be love. All I'm saying is just be more creative with how you express your ideas. (laughs) Over and out.